Hey guys, hello and welcome to the second, no, no, second, second edition of 30 Days Has September. Of course, I couldn't get an episode yesterday because I was at the Collingwood uh, Geelong game and that was very disappointing for me because I'm a Collingwood supporter and I didn't even see the whole game, I just left at uh, 10 minutes into the last quarter. So, yeah, that was very disappointing, but, you know, it's... What teams won a premiership in round 24? None, me thinks. So, you know, got finals. We're playing West Coast next week. So, yeah, hopefully that can be a better contest and hopefully, well, for my sake, we can come out on top. So, it is Saturday, the uh, 3rd of September 2011. And, of course, we've got uh, four games going on this afternoon. That is, let me just check them up for you. That is Gold Coast taking on Hawthorne, which is at Metricon Stadium on the Gold Coast. Now, Hawthorne, of course, resting eight key players this match to get them pumped and ready for the Geelong match next Friday night. Um, I'm actually tipping Gold Coast this year. I'm really bad at tipping anyway, so but I've got nothing to lose, so I've just tipped Gold Coast. Uh, also on today, the Bulldogs host Fremantle at Etihad Stadium, and I'm thinking this will be a pretty easy victory for Western Bulldogs uh, because of all Fremantle's injury problems and stuff like that. And Brisbane take on Sydney. Uh, this should be pretty straightforward Sydney victory, although you never know. Uh, Brisbane did play well against West Coast the other week, but maybe that was just spurred on by the retirement of Luke Power. But, uh, yeah, getting back to last night's game, and uh, just Ben Reid has said that the loss does not hurt the players, so that is very um, happy for the Collingwood supporters and Collingwood players and coaching staff and all of them. It's, it doesn't affect them very much. And uh, Chris Scott has also told his players that they should not get too far ahead. Because, you know, it is only round 24, like I've said. I've got only two... I, no, I've got a fact for you um, now. Collingwood have not won a game in the last round uh, since 2006. And that's since they started in the finals. They, 2006 is when they got their first finals appearance since 2003, since the grand final. And, yeah, they have not won a game in round 24. Or round 22 since 2006, so that's very interesting. There, I'll just take you through some of the milestones for this afternoon. Kepler, but Kepler Bradley from Fremantle will play his 100th game, and Nick Smith and Dan Hanabry, the now rising star winner, will play their 50th games. So, yeah, that's uh, it's great for them. And, uh, yep, I'm just going to end the show there. Yeah. So if you ever want to get involved in this show, it's not likely to happen because nobody watches the show, which is great. Um, but if, if you do watch this show, it would be great if you uh, subscribed and favorited and told other people to watch it because, you know, that would be great. Um, so where was I getting to? So, no. So if you do follow this game, we've got uh, this, this game. Yeah, everybody follows this game. Everybody follows, follows that game. If you follow this show, you can add the hashtag on Twitter, hashtag 30DHS, for 30 Days Has September. So that's it for today's show. I hope your team wins, unless it was Geelong, because that was last night, and like I've said, I'm not very happy with that. But your team's still playing this week. I hope that uh, this, this weekend, I hope they win, just for the sake of you. So thanks for tuning in today. And see you tomorrow.